What's up everybody, this is Scratch with the Xbox Ambassadors and I've got a Gears of War for a video here for you. This was sent to me by the Xbox Ambassador team in exchange for my honest opinion and to create some video content for you guys. I will also be streaming this on the Xbox Twitch channel Fridays at 6 p.m. Eastern Time for New Member Friday. It's a show I do over there, so I hope to see you there. And this is going to be broken up into five collectible videos. That is one per act. And I'm going to show the collectibles in the order in which you will find them as you are playing through the game. So if you're watching the video, that's how they're going to come through. If you've already played through and you're just missing a couple, then I am going to link in the description jumps uh, directly to the collectible that's missing in the order that you will find them in the war journal. So hopefully this helps you out. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. I appreciate you guys watching this and um, I will catch you guys all next time. Okay, so the first collectible you're going to find right after you grenade the machine gun nest, you, instead of meeting up with your group, you can just head straight over to the other machine gun nest and you will find the collectible right here on the table as you walk into the room. Uh, this is going to be the UIR security report. Uh, directly from here, after you're done, you can just continue forward and walk all the way down around this corner here and out back out into the way. Um, your squad mates came up and right around this corner you will find a cog tag, which I forgot to record. Uh, but there it is right there and then after you go through the doors there is a poster on your right so go back to your team and find them and go through the door and you'll find that poster right there and then the next one is going to be when you get to the area where the corpser is you're going to head over to the left in this little um, shack or whatever it is and you will find the Jacinto newspaper and they are telling you to get the hammer of dawn to deal with that corpser so what you're going to do is head over and grab the Hammer of Dawn out of the back of the van and then head up the steps and to the left and you will find one of the last collectibles in this area, another set of cog tags right there. So go ahead and grab those. Then after you revive your friend in the next uh, segment, you're going to head right over here next to the Blazing Armadillo and you will pick up another set of cog tags off of the ground. And then over here, right before you are heading up to the ladder that you're supposed to be getting on, you can jump over here to the right and grab this uh, note off of the table. And that will complete all of the collectibles in Chapter 0, the prologue. So now we're going to jump over to uh, Chapter 1. So in Chapter 1, there are five collectibles, the first of which you will find if, after you blow the gate open in the sandstorm area. You can head over here uh, to the right, and you are going to find the Rubble Reclamation Manifest. Uh, as soon as you grab that, you can head on to the next one. We're going to pick up Shepherd Protection Pamphlet, and this is found before you drop down to your first Shepherd Battle. So before you move forward and drop down into that area, you won't be able to get back here. So you're going to want to run around here to the left, and you can grab the Protection Pamphlet. You can see it right there in front of me there. For the third collectible, you're going to want to get the Settlement 5 Resident Assignment List. This is after you reach an area that the characters will refer to as the Second Ring Area, and you can find it in the buildings after you are done with the battle, or you can run over there um, if you want to, you know, while you're fighting. And that will pick up the Settlement 5 Resident Assignment List. And you probably grab an achievement if you already haven't. For the fourth collectible, we are going to get the Cog Birthing Pamphlet, and this is found after seeing, access, uh, seeing the access door cutscene, and it's on a table in the middle of the maternity ward between these two chairs. Um, so you can walk over and grab the Cog Birthing Pamphlet right there. And last but not least, we are going to get the Wind Flare Lockdown Procedure. After exiting the maternity ward, you're going to come down these steps here, and you're going to head right over here to the left. And you will see this poster hanging on the wall, which is the wind flare lockdown procedure. And you can grab that. And that will be your final collectible for chapter one. And we're going to move on to chapter two, which has just a single collectible. So it should be pretty easy. Okay, and when you get all the way down here to the bottom of the elevator shaft, this is in the room with the fabricator. Before you grab it, though, you're going to want to head over here to the left and you can pick up this computer, which is the DBI schematics. And that will be your only collectible in Chapter 2. So for the collectible in Chapter 3, you're going to get to this little courtyard area where you'll have a big battle. And then after the dust is cleared, you're going to head down here to the right because you can't go left. Um, get down into the middle area and then head all the way over to the left and you will find the 
Shepherd Safety Pamphlet, and that will do the final collectible for Chapter 3. So let's head into Chapter 4 and get the last three. So the Chapter 4 collectibles start here right after you set down the Fabricator, and then you're going to head over here to the right, and you can see that we have a collectible here hanging on the wall. This is the Village Wild Flare Lockdown Procedure, so you can grab that off the wall. Continuing on uh, from that area, you just turn around and head down the right-hand side, and you're going to run all the way across the village uh, to the other side, taking note of where you came in after you crossed this bridge, and then head up these steps, and you will find a collectible right here next to the chair on the ground. So you can go ahead and pick that up, and that is going to be a book that is uh, inscribed to Kate. So we're going to grab that one. And then going back up here, right here to the right of the fabricator, we're just going to take the same path down, except instead of going all the way across this time, we're going to head over here to the right behind this uh, little cornfield area uh, where they're growing some tomatoes and stuff. Head up here to the top of the steps, and we will find the last collectible here by the wood pile. So that is all of the collectibles in um, Act 1. And next video will be Act 2. Thanks for watching.